Now, one of the ways in which you can um, just begin to streamline your workflow um, and your formatting is to um, use the Scrivener preferences. So let's say, for example, we let's just go up to here to Scrivener preferences. Now that's going to bring up this screen here. Um, don't be concerned. We're not going to go over everything here right now. We just all we're concerned with with is the formatting preferences. Now, one of the easiest ways to do this, you can actually set your preferences right here within this screen and make changes and it will kind of give you a live version of what that will look like. Um, but one of the easiest ways is to actually go into a, a document within your uh, binder and make the changes that you want to the text. So let's let's say, for example, I choose the text here in um, chapter three, and I want it to be 13 point rather than 12 point, and I want it to have uh, a 1.4 uh, line height. Um, so, and I'm, yeah, okay, let's say that uh, rather than Times New Roman, I want to apply um, Baskerville. So I want to change it from Times New Roman to Baskerville. I can then come back over here into the um, preferences area and say use formatting in current editor. And now that's applied that to um, my formatting preferences here. Okay, so that's great. The only problem here is that these options will only take effect for new documents. So they're not going to be applied to my present documents. They're all going to stay exactly the same. You know, I've made those ch changes here. And if I add a new document now, so let's say I come here and I add a new document. And so here now in my uh, new document, as I add text, so it's actually applying the preferences that I've chosen. So now as I add new documents to my um, project, it's going to uh, inherit this 1.4 Baskerville 13 point, etc. Now that's all good and well, but what about the um, documents that already exist in my project? Okay, I'm going to show you now how to save a preset so you can apply a preset to those existing documents.